I call it La Miserable. It shows the Iraqi people before 2003. This painting by the Iraqi artist Faik Hassan hangs in a Baghdad museum. Ah, 76. 76. Yeah. It is not in Baghdad's most famous cultural center. That, of course, is the world-renowned Iraq Museum, which gets all the fanfare and which became a symbol of post-war chaos when antiquities were looted in 2003. Just down the road is the much less famous Museum of Modern Art. Little visited, it sits behind blast walls and razor wire, reduced to just three rooms in the five-story building that it once filled, but which is now the Ministry of Culture. How does it make you feel that most of this building is office space, not galleries? Well, every morning whenever I cross the information disk, I feel sick. And uh, uh, especially when I go downstairs to the storage, it's terrible storage. In that hot storage vault, sculptures lie unprotected on the floor. And the paintings stacked up in the dark are the lucky ones. At least you can't see the damage. The air conditioner is not working. We bring the fan just to get some air. The ministry itself occupies all the floors. There is no room. So when the paintings are stacked together, the heat melts the oil. Of course, modern art includes Saddam Hussein's era. And not even the Ozymandias of the storage room can escape neglect and vandalism. Little has. That looks like it's beyond restoration. That looks very badly damaged. Yeah. Many. Many paintings need restoration. Many. Few believe that things will get better soon for art or artists in Iraq. Before, during Saddam regime, we did more than 100 exhibitions, but we did good money too for the artist and for the gallery. Gallery owner Qasem Sabti is often asked by artists living abroad if it is safe to come back. It's too difficult, dear. Uh, maybe the, the, the bad security uh, come again. The explosions happened again. So I need to see there is a, a strong government with good security, with good services, to ask my friends to return back to Iraq. Unexpectedly, he has a stroke of luck. Iraq's foreign minister, Hosha Zabari, arrives looking to buy paintings to redecorate the foreign ministry, which was bombed last year. But although his patronage benefited this private gallery, he acknowledged concerns about the Museum of Modern Art. This is uh, definitely the duty, the work of the government, you see, to improve public service generally for uh, the public as a whole, in terms of electricity, water, sanitation, preservation, let's say, of the museum, of uh, this art colleges. But uh, we are surviving, managing. Life goes on. Not for some of the paintings, and not for much longer, warns the museum's manager. Hopefully, somebody is going to help us from the international museums to get a grant for restoration first and for a, a better place. This is Stephen Farrell for the New York Times in the Museum of Modern Art, Baghdad.